For two years now, a local family has been waiting for answers. A young woman vanished under suspicious circumstances in January of 2020. And now her family is telling Pam Serrano they're disgusted with the investigation. Kayleen's family says the near breaks in her case have all come up cold, and they feel the investigation to find her has been botched from the start. She had a lot of people that were involved in her life that miss her terribly. Two years after 20-year-old Kayleen Oling of Aetna disappeared, and her family has more pain than answers. They held another vigil last night to keep her memory alive. They say Kayleen disappeared after meeting a man she'd been seeing. By the time Aetna police took it serious, um, so much time had gone by that we were missing video surveillance that we could have gotten off of this, the street poles, you know, off of businesses that she walked past that night when she went to go meet him. Kayleen was seeing Michael Mano, a man more than twice her age. While Mano has not been charged with her disappearance, he has been charged with sending nude photos of Kayleen after she went missing to her sister and father. You're saying you're not guilty, but you're sending pictures of a missing girl to her family. What message is that? Mano's record shows convictions in the past of arson, theft, statutory sexual assault, corruption of minors, and aggravated assault. Kayleen's family says there have been so many missteps in her investigation, and two years later, they want answers. Our problem is to find out where my niece is, my sister's daughter, my, my niece and nephew's sister. That's what we care about. Michael Mano goes to trial in March for allegedly sending those lewd photos to Kayleen's underage sister. He has pled not guilty. Her family hopes for better communication now with Allegheny County Police who have taken over the investigation. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.